Hmm. Which one? Which one? I don't know. Hey, lovely lovelyans, it is Sister Guard here. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. Uh, we're back today in Pet Tower Defense yet again. I know lots of these videos, but there's lots of content to go through, and I'm really excited playing this game. If you haven't, you can't tell. I'm not level 71. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is the best legendary in the game currently. Currently, the ones you want to go hunt after. And I'm going to show you kind of my strat on how I have fully evolved pets. Like all of my legendaries are Evo 3. And I've hatched 870 eggs. In the last 200, I was able to basically get better ones. Get more. So I'm going to share with y'all what I did in order to do that. Doesn't require any like sneaky business. It's literally just big brain work. So let's go over each of the legendaries. I'm going to give my opinion on which one's the best, explain why, and all that good jazz. So uh, let's do that normal video intro stuff. So if you haven't already, please make sure you smash, 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 smash that love and like button. Do the same thing with the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot more than y'all know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And our beautiful pleb of the day. Can you be my favorite pleb? You can be the pleb of the day. Thank you for the love and support. I appreciate it. Okay, so first things first is right now, as when I'm recording this video during the Times 2 XP weekend, we have four legendaries. We have Awaken Omni. We have Blue Flame Coal. And we have Cyber Dragon. And last but not least, Exalted Angel. So I'm going to go through what each of these guys does, kind of show it on the infinite run, and we'll go from there. Okay, okay. I'm going to go in an infinite run, by the way, in case you, you didn't know. Let us let let me go do that. Okay, I got my infinite. I got everybody set up. So we're going to start with, in my opinion, the worst legendary to get. And the one that I would not recommend going after first. You do need him in order to get further along in the waves, especially if you're wanting to breach wave 55 and infinite. But yeah, so let's get on into it. So the first one actually is Exalted Angel. The reason Exalted Angel is number four is for the simple reason it's a single target attacker. An infinite, if you run the game, there's always a lot of mobs, they have a lot of health, and yes, it does the most damage of any single unit to a single target, but it only does 390 to a single target every three seconds. And the next person on the list can hit multiple targets for a lot of damage as well, every 3.5 seconds so it's it's no brainer if exalted angel in the shop is in the shop i would not recommend going after it just because it's not going to help you get further in the waves unless you're breaching up past wave 50. just just my honest opinion right there i mean its range is nice like this would be the max amount of coverage it could give right here um, you probably could put it in this little spot where I have the Cyber Dragon and it'll get all of this. But it's overall, it's not a good legendary. I mean, it's good for the run and I like the diversity in the single target, but yeah. And for those of you wondering, I have mine up to level 55. Mine is nowhere near max. So yeah, that's, that's the Exalted Angel. Let's go on to my next pick for number three. So, my next pick, guys, is the newest legendary they added, the Blue Coal Flame. And you're like, sister, this thing's OP. It hits like a brick every 3.5 seconds. The reason I'm saying it's not good is because of its range versus how much damage it does and its attack speed. So, at max, it is a 3.5 attack speed down here, as you can see. My blue cold frame is level 58, and it almost does as much damage, probably about 70 less than my Exalted Angel, around the same level. But look at this range. It's not really that far. It's... And with the slower attack speed, it's kind of, kind of a big no. Because, I mean, this will help you definitely, but it's not the best. And unfortunately, yes, it has splash, which is what makes it number three, because it has that lovely splash attack. 
but it's not it wouldn't be my first pick to go running after i would i would much prefer to go after my first and second picks trying to get those up to ev3 before i would start chasing after this one to get it up to ev3 so now my next two picks are very i would say they're it's a tie for first place mostly because they do two different things well they do good damage and they both have splash okay and here's my example so the last two are available is cyber dragon and the awakened omni so both of these have very long ranges and they're both splash attackers but there's a difference between each of them and you can tell so omni has an attack speed of five and cyber has an attack speed of three so that is the main difference there now mine have such a drastic difference in damage because my awakened omni is at max level my awakened omni is at level 70 that is the max damage it can currently have my cyber dragon is only at level 56 so it, it still has a ways to grow so it's still not maxed out but for legendaries to go hunt after I know Cyber Dragon and Awaken Omni can carry me well both in infinite and in story mode. Both of them do really well stacking on story mode. Normally I just have to place a couple down and I can complete even the hardest versions on story mode. And they both carry incredibly well for infinite. Now if you also see on this map guys I have kind of placed where you should be placing these units if you have all four kind of as a guide. To kind of help you get further along some strats um but i i don't have a particular pick in between these two i'm gonna be really honest both of them are great units i would not pick one over the other in the shop actually i would want to get both and actually my first units to get evo 3 was cyber dragon followed by awaken omni so that's that's kind of my opinions on the legendaries and what you should go hunt for. So now I'm going to go show you all how to strategically hunt after certain legendaries. So let me get back into the lobby. <laughs> all right, we are back in the lobby and I'm going to go over how to get these legendaries really quickly and efficiently. So with the last update, they introduced the pity system and that will allow you to farm for legendaries so let me explain when you go to hatch as you see down here guaranteed legendary and you have a number so if you come into the shop you come into the lobby and you have enough gems to do a times 10 hatch and you see oh that's a legendary i need say i didn't have blue coal flame at all i had the others but i didn't have the blue coal flame i will tell you that having them to start just having four is better than having only three because all four will help you so what i would do is i'd be like oh there's the blue coal there's a blue i can't talk there's the blue flame coal i'd go times 10 hatch okay cool did i get it yes or no no okay because when you do a times 10 hatch you actually have a 20 percent chance to get that legendary because you have 10 chances at two percent to get it Get the math? Okay, good. <laughs> now, if because when you leave the lobby, this stays. It doesn't matter. This only resets when you get a legendary. So if I'm still hunting for blue coal flame, I just need to keep whenever it's in the shop hatching for it. It's really that simple. Everyone's like, I need I need all the legendaries or I can't get one. Well, just just use only use your gems when that one's in the shop. Otherwise go grind. Or Pretty much the easiest way to get gems all day is go to the ranch. Go to the ranch. I mean, that's that's where I get a lot of my gems, is I just sit in the ranch. And we'll just AFK. And usually I'm editing or doing other stuff. I don't get as many gems when I'm running around doing infinites because it takes like 45 minutes. And I have to actually think. So I don't have to think in the ranch. But if you're like, sister, I can't AFK. You can AFK on your phone or computer in there. I'm, I'm just letting you know. I would just plug in your phone. Don't don't let your phone die. Now, if, say, you get this up to 50 out of 60 hatches for a legendary, but you don't have enough gems to do a times 10 hatch, 
what you can do to start edging it closer until you are able to get it up to 60 or you just have had bad luck is I would still keep hatching because here's what's also going to happen is all those extra guys that you get you can start using for XP for your other units. So what I would routinely do and how I got all of my units up to Evo 3 is I would come into the lobby. I say I had 150 gems. I'm like, okay, I'm running over here. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Okay, I'm at 55. I didn't get it. Oh, well, let's go back. And I just keep going. It's... Eventually, you will get it. After 60 hatches, you will get the legendary. It's just you just have to basically feed the machine type thing. So that's kind of how I did it is I would literally just come in here, not even with a full times 10 hatches. I'd hatch, hatch, hatch. And if I got it, yay. If I didn't, oh well. Now, one other thing I did do is just to help build this up is every now and then I would just hit a times 10 hat or times one hatch just to start adding numbers to it. Because you do have a less of a chance to get it. So, see, I've already added three out of 60 now. So when the new set of pets comes out in like 50 some odd hours, um, I already have some points already spent to getting a guaranteed. So I will be more likely to get the legendary when it first comes out than others. Because if I have it pre-ready that my next hatch is immediately the legendary, then yeah. It's just kind of simple stuff there, guys. <laughs> if you've made it to this part of the video, I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully everything in here helped. And hopefully I helped y'all figure out which one of the legendaries is the best and how to go hunt for them pretty easily. And kind of the tips and tricks I used in order to get all of mine up. As always, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye!